Welcome to Grumbacher Art Information Series. My name is Ken Richards and today we are going to discuss color theory. The term color theory is a vast subject that includes many concepts and definitions, which literally fills volumes of books. In this video we are going to concentrate on the foundation of color theory, the color wheel. We will also demonstrate how to create your own color wheel as the basis for your artwork. The color wheel is simply an arrangement of hues put into a logical format. The color wheel was first formally developed by Sir Isaac Newton in 1666, and there have been many variations and versions developed since then. As an artist, color wheels are a helpful tool in determining the appropriate hue for the drawing or painting you are working on, and how to mix the appropriate colors to obtain the hue you want. Creating a personal color wheel during a project also gets an artist familiar with the paint color they are using, including tinting strength and color intensity. To begin creating your own traditional 12-part color wheel, you will need a surface on which to paint the color wheel. Trace a large circle with a coffee can or other round object and pencil. Divide the circle into three even parts. Divide evenly again and again until you reach 12 equal parts. Now you are ready to begin making your own color chart. One of the essential concepts of the color wheel is the presence of primary, secondary, and tertiary colors. Knowing these combinations can help an artist appropriately mix paint to produce a desired color. Primary colors are three known pigments that cannot be created or made by any other pigment combinations. Simply labeled, the three primary colors are red, yellow, and blue, and are sometimes referred to as RYB. In printing processes and graphic design, the primary colors are referred to as CMY, or specifically cyan, magenta, and yellow. Many paint companies make these three colors for more graphic or print-oriented artists. One can consider the three primary colors the parents of all other colors. For the purposes of this color chart, we will be using Grumbacher Academy Acrylic Cobalt Blue, Grumbacher Red, and Cadmium Yellow Light. Paint a swatch of each of these colors here, here, and here. Some artists find it helpful to label each swatch as they do them. Secondary colors are the color combinations created out of mixing primary colors. Secondary colors are orange, purple, and green. Orange is the product of mixing yellow and red together. Purple is the product of mixing red and blue together. Green is the product of mixing yellow and blue together. Mix each of the primary colors to create your secondary colors and paint them in here, here, and here until your color chart looks like this. Tertiary colors are the color combinations created out of mixing a primary color and a secondary color. And these colors are given a two-word name describing their parents. The tertiary colors are yellow-orange, red-orange, red-purple, blue-purple, blue-green, and yellow-green. Finish your color chart by mixing and painting the tertiary colors and painting in the appropriate spaces. When your color chart is completed, it will look like this. Now you have a color chart that you can refer to while accomplishing your painting. Thank you for joining us today. Please find this transcript and even more helpful information on grumbacher.com.